Hey everybody, this is Digby. I'd like to thank you all for stopping by. And if you wondered why I did a closer look at, or take a quick look at, on, uh, well, Tuesday I think I put it out? Yeah, rather than Friday. It's because today, which will be Friday when you see this, I wanted to show off a little bit of Boundless, including a new game we've invented. But this here is my workshop. I don't know if you've seen it before since we moved to Tana. And let's take a quick peek around here. We've got my tower, which has a nice big jump in the middle of it down onto a trampoline through a stargate. I've got my own house, which I really like. It's quite pretty. I've got a lighthouse over there. We got way off in the distance, you can just see. I've got a beach going. We've got a nice little sandy beach with tables and blankets and towels. And Lance is back and ready to <laughs> ready to go record ourselves playing the new game. Well, back in the house. And Lance will be talking to me off and on through the chat, I'm sure. In fact, let me ask him to go prep the ice. He needs a bone. Okay. I can do that. Yeah, I'll, let me toss him the bomb, and then I'll explain how Foom works. Because Foom is this new game we've invented. And the story behind it is... Let me actually go get the ice ready. The story behind it is, is there's a very popular game on Boundless that a lot of people play called Dodge Bomb. And these guys worked out how to make an arena with lava under it. And they basically throw really huge grenades at each other and try and knock, you, knock themselves into lava. Well, Lance decided he wanted something like that, but not quite, and he sort of tasked me with inventing it and building an arena to play it in. So, actually, we'll go over to the beach. That's a good place to start. Yeah, see, this is the beach. We were, well, you can't see it, we were out in the water over there before. And Paradise Beach, we have a pool. We've got our own little umbrellas. We've got lounge, uh, lounge chairs. There's a ship over there parked at the dock. And it's quite a nice little place we've built for ourselves since we moved. But yeah, Old Stars, uh, Old Stars Hollow. Oh, there's Adam Musk's house. Old Stars Hollow is no more. Ah, and there's the arena. So as I was saying, Lance wanted me to invent a game, build an arena to play it in. And, you know, no pressure or anything. But we did it. I managed it. Took me two or three days to come up with a concept at work. And I wanted... Because, I mean, realistically, you're sort of limited by the fact that you only have bombs. And there's nothing else really you can toss around or interact with. But I wanted something that was a little less fatal. So yes, welcome to the Crucible, the original Foo Marina. I wanted something that was a little less fatal and a little more challenging. And this is what I came up with. We'll go up here and watch him put the ice down. So what we've done is, because we're on water over here, we've got this huge river. I have built the arena over the water, and if you take a solidifier to it, you can turn it into ice. Now, as you can see, we've got the two corners that are green, two corners that are blue. That's for, um, hopefully, someday we'll be able to get a two-person team match going. But for now, it works pretty well with two people. And the rules of Foom are very simple. In fact, I'll go show them to you. It doesn't take very much to get it. All right, so only unforged copper bombs are to be used. Players begin in opposite corners of the arena. You throw bombs to break the ice. Match ends when only one player or members of a single team remain in the arena. The limited players are out and cannot return to the match, and the exit is underwater to the north. And that's it, really. It's quite simple. So he's got his bombs. I like to take the blue corner, but I think today I'm going to try green. Because I will tell you something. I invented this game. Hold on. Right. Yeah, I invented this game myself, and I have played this a bunch with several different people. Everybody that's played it really loves it. They enjoy the hell out of it. And the copper bombs are better, because you don't blow massive holes, you just weaken the ice. And then it's a matter of getting them, uh, getting it broken away enough. So, yeah, it takes a little longer. Like I said, you've got, whoops, uh, you got the walls, which provide a lot of interesting angles. Actually, let me get in the old inventory here. And I'll put the copper bombs in. Oh, I don't need the whole bag, Bigby, you just need one. There we go. Okay. And we'll start. We're off. Oh, shit. Oh, no, run, run. So I'm going to try and get him. Ricochet, that's what it is. Oh, crap. <laughs> yeah, I have never won this game, ever. Not once. And all the times I've played it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Nope, that's bad. Oh, he's already busted a wall out over here. Crap. Nope, that was well done. I threw it right in the hole. 
Oh, you're gonna have any place to run here in a minute, chum. Uh, I think I got him now. Oh, son of a bitch! Nope, my... Well, defeated streak continues to be unbroken. Anyway, yeah, once you fall through the ice, you just run out. And you're back on land again. And that's how you play Foom. <laughs> and as I have the guy with the ice, I think I'll go rebuild the rebuild the arena. Ugh. Alright. Yeah, I cannot believe I built a game that I suck at this this badly. But yeah, I do. I'm completely appalling at it. <laughs> Get that one put in. Yeah, it doesn't take too long to rebuild it between matches. But you do have to have a lot of ice on you just, you know, to be ready for it, but... Uh, that figures. Alright, Lance said earlier there was a dev on that might want to play, so... I don't know if he still wants to try that or not. I don't know if the dev would even want to play. I know the devs of this game are really, um... Big on the community stuff. They, they're a huge part of the community itself. Whoops, that wasn't very bright of me. But, oh. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to try and get Leo over here to play, go for it. And if not, alright, so if a dev shows up, I'll re record, I'll add on to this recording. Otherwise, this will be it. So if you look down at the time and it's got more than a couple of minutes left, then stay tuned because we'll be playing with a dev in a few minutes. Okay, I will put this little bit here in the middle because we're about to go try and ask the dev if she wants to have a match with Lance that I can then record. So, <laughs> like I said, if you see this, then she probably said yes. Shit, he's fast. I forgot how super fast he is. Stop doing that. No. Oh, well, while we're here, this is our portal hub. We're on Tana 7 or whatever the hell it is, by the way. Oh yeah, look at Lance's pirate ship, my tower again. I got a TARDIS. I'll show you the TARDIS. When, <laughs> hopefully when we get a chance here. Uh, Alright, we're off to ask the dev if she wants to play. And I'll be back. Okay, we're back with the dev, and I will show you as we run by it. I got a TARDIS. If I get a chance at the end of this video, I'll run in there and show it to you. You can see what it looks like. Ah, oh, Tana's a very rainy place. <laughs> yeah, put this a little ways out of town, because, well, that's where the water was. I mean, there's a lot of water over here, but I have plans for all of that, so... Oh, that looks like Lance is going to come drifting up behind me. She's right on the tail, too, so that works. back on. So I can show her where the rules are. Oh, she found me. I'm going to gravel off. Make sure it's all iced. It is. Okay, this is going to be fun, because I've never done this from above. Alright, somebody, please, hand Lance his ass. Please, please kick his ass. <laughs> I really want to see him move. Oh, don't look off the edge of the thing. Oh, nice shot, Leah. Very nice shot. Excellent spectator sport. I'm actually the first person to ever gotten a watch it played. As far as I know from above, anyway. Since I just put this in a couple days ago and nobody's played it since. Oh, she's gonna get him. I think she's gonna get him. Uh, oh, crap. Nope, he's got a hole in the ice now. Ah, uh, close. Nope. Oh, pin him in there. Pin him in there. Oh, that one didn't work. Oh, he's trying to sneak attack. Yep. Nice shot, Lance. I give you credit where it's due. That was a hell of a shot. Uh -oh. She's in trouble if he hits that ice. He got her. Crap. 
Oh well, it was worth a try. <laughs> Sorry, I've been sitting here not saying a damn word, just typing to her. <laughs> okay, well, I'll edit that out. We just kind of had a conversation, and um, Lance rebuilt the ice and stuff. But Okay, on that happy mo um, note, I thank you all for stopping by. I have been Digby. I hope you enjoyed it, and I really hope if you guys play Boundless, you can build your own arenas. It's a very simple build. Very, very easy. So, all right. Well, thanks for that, and I will see you in the next one. Curse, this video is going to be a freaking nightmare to edit. <laughs> uh, oh well.